you will be the future father. I don't just see a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old or 18-year-old. I see boys who will become men. That's what I see when I see you. I see boys who will become men. Either you're going to do your absolute best or you're not. There are a lot of people struggling out there because the men do their best. The men rise. The men must rise. For the family to rise, the men must rise. So if you know you're a C student now, if you know you're a D student now, I need you to stop it just like I did in the ninth grade. I need you to stop that right now. I need you to focus on becoming an A student. I need you to focus on becoming an AB student. I need you to be focusing on scholarship. I need you to be focusing on college. I need you to be focusing on a business. I need you to be focusing on a career. I need you to be focusing on an example of a positive, successful man. If a human is not able to achieve this purpose, then that human would wreak havoc on the community. If a teenager, teenage boy, does not, un, does not have vision for himself, does not have goals, does not understand the importance of education, does not understand the importance of character, does not connect himself to a positive, successful example of a man, what is he doing in the community? He's acting up. He's joining games. He's doing stuff he does not Let's take a little bit deeper. Hmm. You're 30 years old. You're 30 years old. You're married. You go to a job. You've been applying for a job for six months. It's a lot of men on this board right now. Think about what that does to your psyche when you go to a job and you can't get a job because your skills are not strong enough. Because you didn't study enough. Because you didn't learn enough. Because you didn't get this degree or that degree. Think about what that does when you come back home to your wife. You come back and you see your kids. What does that do to yourself? What does that do to you? You lose a sense of self. There's a lot of men that don't feel comfortable being around their family. They don't feel comfortable being around their kids because they can do their best and because they can't provide the way they need to provide. Your number one purpose in life is to protect and provide for your family. It's not to play video games. It's not to play sports. It's not to chase women. If you know it, a lot of our good women don't have enough good men to marry. A lot of our good women don't have enough good men to marry. Your purpose in life is not to chase women. You already know the statistics. But what happens when you do that? That's not your work in life. For the family to rise, the men must rise. For the family to rise, the men must rise. You must study more. You must do more. You must challenge yourself. You must put yourself around the right people. For the family to rise, the men you must rise. Your best. For the family to rise, the men must rise. It's your purpose in life to do your absolute best. You don't protect your family with guns. You don't protect your family with your muscles. You protect your family with your mind. You protect your family with character. You protect your family with the right choice. You protect your family by doing your absolute best and staying focused on what's important in life. That's how you protect your family. So if you're a sophomore, you know you're not reading enough. You need to read more. The average high school kid, and this goes for everybody, reads six books a year. I went through the last class, and a lot of them only read one book a year on their own. Let's think about that. If the average student reads six books a year, the average student reads six books a year, and, that, and you know you're not reading that, you need to read a little bit more. But why would I want to be average? Why would I want to be a C student? Why would I want to be average? I want to be better than average because I want to get that job. I want to be a top student. How hard is it for me to read 20 books a year, 25 books a year? How hard is it to do that? Read two books a month, three books a month. How hard is it to do that? How hard is it to do that? Just imagine what you can get out of a book. If you don't have a mentor, you can read about yourself for me. If you want to learn about business, you can look up books about business. Whatever you want to learn, you can look it up. I need each and every last one of you to attach yourself to a positive example of a successful man. Every last one of you. You will be the future father. I don't just see a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old or 18-year-old. I see boys who will become men. That's what I see when I see you. I see boys who will become men. Either you're going to do your absolute best or you're not. There are a lot of people struggling out there because the men do their best. You're going to get paid by the knowledge you know or the skills you learn. The knowledge you know or the skills you learn. If you're not learning skills, you can't get paid off of that. If you're not studying and reading, you can't get paid off of that. I need you to improve yourself. I need you to invest in your mind. I need you to invest in your future. I need you to invest. I need every last one of you to invest in your future. I want every last one of you to get that scholarship. And once again, you're not competing with people 
just in your own school, just in your own city, just in your own county, or just in your own state. You can be with people all over this country for that scholarship you want, for that job you want, for that business you want to start. You can be with people all over this country. And if you understand you're competing against people all over the country, you won't read one book a year. You're going to read 12, you're going to read 20, you're going to read 30. You're going to do what you have to do to make sure you stand out. You're going to make sure you stand out. You want to be a cut above the rest. Why would I want to be anything else? I want my best opportunity. I want to give my family what they need. I want to give myself what I need. I, I do not want to look back and say, I did not get my best. I definitely don't want to look at my kids or my wife or my significant other and say, I don't know how to provide. I don't know how to provide. Men, attach yourself to a positive example of a successful man and do what you have to do to become the best man you can become. And when it's 